uh, today I'm going to be wrapping up my Booktubeathon reads. It hasn't been the best Booktubeathon ever. It's actually been the worst Booktubeathon ever. Um, the first year I did it, um, I did pretty okay. It wasn't that bad, but it wasn't like I didn't win everything. But um, last year I actually won every single challenge and I read all of the books and it was fantastic. And I was so proud of myself. But this year it's been a bit of a disappointment <laughs> to myself. I read three books. And I think I completed two challenges, maybe three. We'll go over it in, in the wrap up. Let's just get started. <laughs> so on Monday, I started reading Allegiant and this was supposed to complete the read a book um, that had a movie adaptation done with it and then watch the movie adaptation of the book. So I started reading it and I wasn't feeling it at all. I started watching Zoella vlogs recently and then I was like, oh, I want to read her book because it's been on my shelf since Christmas. So I'm going to read her book and I'll come back to Allegiant afterwards. So I read 54 pages of Allegiant and then I dropped it and I never returned to it. That, 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 that's very bad. I never even bought the movie, so I didn't watch the movie. So did not complete that challenge whatsoever. When I put Allegiant down, I picked up Girl Online by Zoe Sugg and I really, 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 really enjoyed it. I don't know why people said that they didn't enjoy it. They thought it wasn't real well written. I really enjoyed it. It was one of my favorite reads this year, I think. I really loved Penny and Noah. And I knew what was gonna happen at the end. It was kind of predictable, but I really enjoyed it still. And I can't wait to pick up her second book and I can't wait for the third one to come out in November, I think it's coming out. It was really fun and I really enjoyed it and I read it in three days. It took me a little bit longer than I would have liked, but I read it in three days and I can count this as a book with yellow on the cover. So that's one challenge completed and one book completed. So um, I'm really happy with the book that I picked and that I completed. Like I was really pleased with it. Give it five out of five stars. So I, I'm really excited to pick up the next ones and I'm really happy that I finally picked it up because I love watching Zoe's vlogs and I just, I couldn't believe that I hadn't picked it up yet and now I'm really happy that I did. Plus I completed a challenge so I'm really happy about that. After finishing Girl Online, I was kind of feeling a little bit slumpish, like in a book slump, you know, you finish a book or like a morning period more. Maybe more of a morning period where you finish a book and you're still wrapped up in that book. But I, I, I was telling myself I gotta pick up another book because it's book two with on. You gotta read all the books, all the pages, all the time. So I like put my mind in book two with on mode, and then I picked up Aristotle and Dante discover the secrets of the universe. This one I picked it for a book that I discovered through booktube. I originally picked uh, Ready Player One but I didn't get to it, didn't feel like reading it at the time. So I did discover this one through booktube. It was super hyped, still super hyped through booktube. And unfortunately I really did enjoy it but not as much as I was hoping. I think that my idea of the story didn't, it wasn't as funny well, it was still funny, but it wasn't as, like, romantic and cutesy and, like, Dante and Aristotle didn't fall in love as fast as I would have wanted them to. And that's not a spoiler because it's, like, the whole point of the story. But I still enjoyed it, but not as much as I was hoping to enjoy it. So I still completed a challenge with this book. So, so far, that's two challenges and two books. Next, I picked up Hopeless by Colleen Hoover. This one is for read a book by your favorite author. And I'm still reading it. I haven't finished it. Um, didn't have the time to finish it. I was really slow. I wasn't like in a super fantastic reading mood this past week. Although I did enjoy the books that I did read, I wasn't like mentally ecstatic about reading other books when I finished one of them. So I'm still going to count this as completing a challenge and picking up another book because I'm still reading it and I just didn't get to finish it because time ran out. I'm on page 100, really enjoying it so far. Everything by Colleen Hoover is fantastic. So if you haven't picked up any Colleen Hoover books yet, get on it. Pick any of her books. It doesn't matter which one you pick. Just pick one and read it and fall in love with it because she's so good. I love Colleen Hoover. I don't know how she does it, but she's fantastic. So with this one, it makes three challenges and three books. Even though I haven't completed it, I still count it. And the last book that I read during Booktubeathon, I read it last night, 
and it's the seventh uh, Pretty Guardians Sailor Moon book by Naoko Takeuchi. It's a manga, it's a really quick read. I read it for the book that you can only read after the sun sets. It took me an hour, maybe two to read it and really enjoyed it, really loved it. I think I actually skipped number six and I went to number seven immediately because I haven't read one since last year at Booktubeathon. So I couldn't remember which book I was on and I thought I was on number seven, but I, I don't think I read number six, but I, I wasn't really confused. I still understood everything that was going on. So um, yeah, really enjoyed it all the time. I love Sailor Moon. To wrap things up, it wasn't the best Booktubeathon year for me, but Booktubeathon is not to read all the books. I mean, it is, but as long as you read, you're winning, you're doing everything you can, reading, I have to work, I have a job, I can't sit around and read all day, I have stuff to do, I own my own place now, I have to clean, I have to cook, I have to wash myself, <laughs> I have to bathe. I mean, I read three, let's say three and a half books because I did read two complete books, one manga and part of Hopeless. So I'm saying four books, three and a half books, four books. Still pretty good. Still read stuff off my TBR. That's what counts, right? So I'm sure there's some of you out there watching me that have completed all the challenges that have read seven books during seven days. Let me know if you won Booktubeathon because I did last year and I was bragging about it. You can go watch my video. I was so happy with myself. I think the f my favorite book for sure at Booktubeathon was Girl Online. It would probably be hopeless if I had finished it, but I haven't even gone halfway yet, so I can't count it as my favorite one. But Girl Online was so cute, and I can't wait to see what happens with Penny and Noah in Girl Online on tour, which I need to buy like really soon. So let me know in the comments below which was your favorite book of Booktubeathon, which one had you laughing or had you crying, had you making all the feels. It was just fantastic, right? If you've completed a few challenges, let me know which one you have down below in the comments section and let's chat about it. Let's chat on our feels about Booktubeathon. Do you massively compete with other people or with yourself, I should say? <laughs> or do you take it real laid back and whatever you read, that's what you read? Cause that's kind of how I did it this year. Last year I was like, I'm doing everything. This year I was like, I'm taking it chill. Take a chill pill. So that's going to be it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to follow me on all my social medias. The links are down below in the description. Go click on there and follow me if you want to become my best friend. I know you do. So I will see you guys very soon. Bye.